Good morning students a warm welcome to you all today we are going to solve the activity page that is english workshop of poem 1.3 in time of silver rain by langston hughes from your textbook let us discuss question 1 find the pairs of rhyming words used at the end of the lines in the poem children rhyming words are two or more words that have the similar ending sound if they sound the same or similar they rhyme for this question you have to find and write the pairs of rhyming words from the poem so the answer is rain again plain heads spreads wings sings cry sky now let us see question 2 read the poem aloud using proper intonation let us read the poem in time of silver rain by langston hughes in time of silver rain the earth puts forth new life again green grasses grow and flowers lift their heads and over all the plain the wonder spreads of life of life of life in time of silver rain the butterflies lift silken wings to catch a rainbow cry and trees put forth new leaves to sing in joy beneath the sky as down the roadway passing boys and girls go singing too in time of silver rain when spring and life are new next Question three. If you were to draw a landscape on the basis of this poem, what elements will you show in it? What colors will you use? Elements means components or parts. Let us see the answer. If I were to draw a landscape on the basis of the poem, I would show the following: the earth, rain, flowers. butterflies rainbow trees road boys and girls i would use all the colors in my paint box question 4 the special arrangement of short lines makes you think about every detail if you write the sentences in the usual manner it does not have the same effect for example the first stanza would be something like the earth puts forth new life again green grasses grow and flowers lift their heads and the wonder of life spreads all over the plain in time of silver rain now try the following write one or two sentences about something beautiful using your own experience or imagination then rearrange the words in the sentences in a poetic form you may write about a beautiful day a beautiful night a stream a crop standing in a field a graceful bird or animal etc let me give you an example the sentences the fierce and majestic tiger moves around the forest softly now I will rearrange the words from this sentence into a poetic form. The tiger, so majestic, so fierce, moving around gently without sound in the lush green forest ground. Is it clear children? This activity is for your homework. Question 5. Fill in the following blanks with reference to the poem. In this question you have to fill the blanks with the words you have come across in the poem let us see the answer in time of rain when spring and life are new the butterflies lift silken wings to catch a rainbow cry and trees put forth new leaves to sing in joy beneath the sky as passing boys and girls too go singing down the roadway Question six. Think and answer. A. Is the poet talking about heavy rains in the rainy season, 
or rain that has come after a long time b are the boys and girls happy that it is raining the answer is a yes the poet is talking about rain that has come after a long time b yes the boys and girls are happy that it is raining question 7 find out the following with the help of your teacher and the internet here you have been asked to write a few lines about seasonal rains monsoon in india and other countries rain in countries like uk which experience spring summer autumn winter let us see the answers one seasonal rains monsoon in india and other countries as winter ends warm moist air from the southwest indian ocean blows toward countries like india sri lanka bangladesh and myanmar the summer monsoon brings a humid climate and torrential rainfall to these areas india and southeast asia depend on the summer monsoon second rain in countries like uk which experience spring summer autumn winter rain is fairly well distributed throughout the year with late winter spring february to march the driest period and autumn winter october to january the wettest probably the best months to travel in england are may june september and october these months generally have the most pleasant temperatures and less rain july and august are the warmest months but they are also the wettest with this we end our session stay home stay safe thank you